Hello and welcome back to the Apocalypse. My name is Vormithrax and this is episode number 56 of our Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead tutorial playthrough. Alright, so we have got our luxury RV, soon to be Apocalypse mobile death base ready to go. Um, we've got all the wheels replaced and did a little bit of gassing up with the other vehicle nearby. I think we've got enough diesel fuel that we can make it back, so we've uh, transferred a few items into the back stowage compartment of the vehicle and we're going to take off. So, our trusty sidekick is in the passenger seat and if we take a look at the map, of plot out our plan of travel here. Um, we are here in the town of Coventry, right about this location. We've got, actually we're right here, we've got to uh, back down the street here and squeak by a police car and a gas pump. And once we get out into the clear, we're going to turn north and just make our way up through the planes here. Um, we've got quite a ways to go, and this is a very unwieldy vehicle, so it's not the best thing to be moving off-road, but we're going to try, so there may be a lot of me stopping and turning and backing up and changing directions, because I really don't want to damage this thing up too bad by hitting brush and such. Um, it's not the most sturdy of vehicles as it is currently. It's just got a standard frame. We don't have any uh, front bumpers or spikes uh, or rollers or anything to really soften the blows and the frame is already weak in a few spots so I'd really rather not lose the frame and the frame and have the entire engine and battery and everything else just fall out of the vehicle while we're driving so I'm gonna have to be pretty careful with it until we get it back to base and have all of our tools and welding equipment and so on that we can uh, really make some changes to this so with that in mind, let's get moving. So we are also tired, so we got to keep an eye on that. We're going to start it up, and it started right up, so good sign. All right, so we got to be really careful here. So we're going to go in reverse, and I'm going to go pretty slow. I need to make small adjustments and line up my squeak past that car, cop car and the uh, gas pumps. So let me zoom in a bit. We'll let a little time go by, and we have a backup beeper going in place. Oh, turn the other direction. Ah, that's what I mean by really be careful about uh, maneuvering, especially with a huge vehicle like this. Just a tiny turn and it slants your entire vehicle and you could be slamming into things very easily. So I've got to line this up very quickly because I don't want to do this again near any other vehicles. All right, hopefully I think two squares on the sidewalk will clear that cop car. Yep. That first car, is that the one that was possibly the problem? I think it is, so we're good. We're going to squeak by on the one side, and we've got a couple of spaces on the other. If I tried to turn right now, the entire vehicle would do this radical 90-degree shift up or down, and it would smash into something. So, oh, frickin'. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did not tell it to do that. I think that was a function of my not being very good at driving this vehicle. <laughs> Low driving skill and I don't know if it models rain conditions or not, but I did not hit one of the side to side keyboard keys to cause it to shift down like that. Uh, get me out of this cramped area. Alright, getting closer here. There's our own vehicle. I'm probably going to run over a few things in the bushes back there, but... Alright. Turn a bit. Alright, we're going to put it into forward now. Okay. That's the hardest part. Now it's just a matter of dodging bushes, which is a chore in itself. I'm debating the route back. Do we want to head this way? That way we'll finish mapping this underhill section. A toxic waste dump. Hmm, I've never visited a toxic waste dump. I'm wondering, just because then we could drive roads a good portion of the way back, or do I just go straight north up and around this way where we originally came in? 
I think I'd rather just take the path that we know is fairly clear. So that's what we're going to do. Zoom out to that. And we're going to keep moving. All right. Uh, yeah, we pretty much want due north, so what time of day is it? Uh, we're going to run out of daylight hours. I really probably don't want to be trying to drive this thing at night and trying to avoid things. So when the sun goes down, I might park it and sleep. Uh, we've got the nice bed arrangement in the back, so me and my buddy could get a decent sleep in there. I'll just have to make sure we're in an area that's fairly clear of zombies. Alright, things are moving along pretty well so far. I think we'll start... yep, I can start angling that direction now. Uh, I don't like that smattering of bushes. Uh, I make it through this way. Yes. I'm going to go north now. Alright, I'm being awful careful with it to not smash into things, but uh, I think it's advisable. So how are we doing? Oops. I need to do a right hand turn here. Let's actually slow down, back up a bit. I want to use that oh, other direction. Right there is I think the gap I'm looking for. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we're going to head that way and then start angling off to the north a bit. Get the speed back up. Not that much to the north. <laughs> uh, yuck. That's not a good cluster of bushes. I think I can eke my way through right here. I think I'm hoping that wing mirror is going to go over the bush. It did. <laughs> All right. Whoops, we rammed into the shrubs. Alright. Try to avoid future shrub ramming. Um, how we doing? How we doing? So, we've got quite a ways to go to the east now. And I just want to kind of angle up a bit as well. So we'll do a little bit of that now. So if I'm doing bush avoidance, I'll just pick north as a preference. We're doing pretty good time frame wise, so now that we've got the vehicle moving pretty steadily, there's not much actual clock time moving, which is a good thing. Eh, yeah, rammed another bush when I tried to go side or make that turn. Alright, how we doing? Coming up on the road, getting pretty close to the uh, rec center. Or the refugee center, so we just need to cross the road and keep going. Was this a copter down site? Yep, copter down site. We're not going to deal with that right now. Uh, you don't like that cluster. Uh, what am I looking at? Is that a, a zombear? Uh, stay away from me, zombear. of fungaloids in the area. There, I can still angle a bit north. Fifteen hundred, so yeah, I think we'll be able to get back to the base before nighttime. I'm debating stopping at the refugee center. Dang it, I hit the stupid bush again when I tried to make that turn. Got to give more allowance for when I switch back to a straight east-west or north-south direction. I 
keep shifting the vehicle far enough to ram bushes nearby. Alright, so let's see here. We'll just keep on moving. That's uh, not going to be quite enough. Ooh, made it. And we got a Mego going crazy up there, doing Mego things. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and stop. I think we've got time, so we'll uh, swing around to the north end of the building here, where the entrance is. I'm looking for a good pathway here. Ooh, okay, just made it that way. That's looking good right there. There's a gap. All right. And we'll just stop right here. Okay. Stop driving. Man, how we doing? We got 17% diesel still, so yep, that diesel fuel, we got big tanks, so the percentages, you have to realize, that's a percentage of your total fuel capacity. This thing has three tanks, so 17% could mean a lot more in one vehicle than it does in another, just depending on the weight of the vehicle and the size of the tanks and so on. So, I won't always be using all three of those tanks for uh, fuel. Um, I'll have one of them filled with fresh water, and uh, depending on how much fuel I think I need, I might fill a second one with something else as well. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I don't remember which NPC I got it from. I think it was the guy over here. Was it that guy? Talk. Yep, so now I have an option. Have you completed your mission? Justice has been served. All right. Old guard, thank you for eliminating the criminals. You won't be forgotten. And I have more I'd like you to do. Big surprise. Glad to help. I need no payment. So if I pick that, I believe that will raise the standing here the most. I don't think he's really going to have items that I'm going to be all that excited about. Um, I can learn things elsewhere. So I'm going to pick glad to help. I need no payment. Or I can say glad to help. Need no payment. Bye. So let's hit A. Uh, I'm going to ask if they need anything. One job, tell me about it. Alright, this task is going to require a little more persuasive skill. I believe the Hell's Raiders have an informant here to monitor who comes and goes. I need you to find out who it is and deal with them without letting anyone else know of my suspicions. We normally allow the free merchants to govern themselves, so I would hate to offend them. Ah, not my strong suit. I've got a lot of negative traits for convincing people and uh, just talking to people in general. I'll say I'll do it, but I'm not confident on this one. I've never done this quest before, so I really don't know what it entails, but if it's a persuasive type of thing, it's going to be a problem for my guy. Alright, we'll just say I'll be back. We check our mission list. Deal with informant. Eh, doesn't really say how to deal with the informant. So, not something I'm going to work with right now, so we'll just take off. Alright, my buddy is shutting all the doors behind me, which is fine, that's what he was told to do. And I probably should have just hopped in the passenger door and that way he would have followed me in. Alright, back on the road we go. Start the RV up, and it does. Alright, so slowly move until we get around this bus. Give it plenty of wide room before I slant back over. Alright, I don't want any sudden skewing of the wheel because of my low driving skill to cause me to smash anything. Alright, right there's a good view. Um, actually, let's stop driving for a second. Whoa. <laughs> Let the vehicle come to a stop. Oh. Alright. Take control again. Don't say stop driving while you've still got the gas pedal depressed. I still had acceleration set, so 
make sure you've come to a full and complete stop, then stop driving. Otherwise, I was bailing out of a moving vehicle. What the heck? What destroyed the headlight? Um, I don't know what happened right there. Unless Doofus there smashed it for some reason. I don't... Not sure what occurred right there. It was the headlight on his side, so the only thing I can think of is that he destroyed it for some reason. Well, that wasn't friendly. Uh, the reason I stopped, though, is I wanted to check. So 1% diesel in that bus, probably not enough to be worth taking the time to check. This one, 7% diesel with two 60-liter tanks. That one is enough to want to grab the diesel out of. So while we've got the vehicles here, did I bring... I know I brought the rubber hose, but do I have... don't have a container for it, but I can just pull the containers right out of that uh, vehicle with my toolbox. So let's grab Cartsy. Alright, so we got Cartsy. Let's then grab... Ugh. Come on, grab Cartsy. Alright, I need the rubber hose and the toolbox. Alright, come back up here. I'm not going to try to repark my vehicle close to this thing. Not worth the danger. Simpler just to come over here and... Let's examine. Let's siphon, pour into a container, and it tells me I don't have one. What I wanted to do is transfer the fluid from one tank to the other, so I could then just pull one tank out. Um, doesn't seem like it's going to let me do it that way, though, so let's just remove... Wrong space... It's got good green wide wheels. I'll have to remember that. So there's the tanks. So let's go ahead and remove the tank. Taking some time. And remove the tank. Come on. I want to make sure I get back to the base before we run out of time. Alright, so here... And here. Uh, I think one of the tanks broke. I'm only seeing one tank now. I wasn't watching the messages. Huh. Alright, well. That makes me a bit sad. Probably faster just to stop wielding my spear, but... Alright, refill... That one from the metal tank. Alright, and then drop... Tank... Alright, so now we've got a spare tank in there, just in case. Get our spear back. <clears throat> Alright, so <clears throat> I'll have to remember that uh, we've got the buses up here that I can grab some wheels off of. Got all really good condition wheels. But for the moment, we're going to call it good. I need to make sure we get back before nightfall. I don't want to try to drive this thing in the dark. Alright, so here, here, and... Alright, got everything back in the vehicle. Get out of my seat. Build to start, and start it up. Alright, so... We just got a short trip due south. So, we'll just do the same thing as before, just avoiding bushes until we make it back into the base. I think there's a 
moose wandering around. Yep, there he is. <laughs> uh, and he's right in a good path to travel. want to get too close to the uh. all right now we'll angle back over I think we've got the moose far enough away that looks like a good spot right there to turn whoops hit another bush There's our base. Now we're going to make this turn. I'm not going to try to make the turn fancy. I'm just going to swing wide and let it line up, and then I'll back up into the position I want. All right. Going to reverse. Probably shouldn't even get this close. All right, here we go. Stop driving. And we now have a big, fancy, luxury RV parked right outside of our home base. Still got 20% diesel, 47% battery. So we used up a pretty good amount of the battery there getting it here. Hopefully the solar panels will get that charged back up again. Um, we've got some replacements to do. We lost a headlight and uh, we've got a bunch of repairs that I'll want to do eventually, but I'm very happy to have this here. So let's see. A lot of things we could do to it and with it, but for the moment I'm just going to unload what I've got here in this compartment and we'll just throw it out on the ground for now. Toss all that stuff out. Gonna be faster just to transfer this way. Whoops. Nope. I want that. That. So we're gonna have to make a run back to get our other vehicle, and I'm not gonna be able to carry all this stuff, so I'm just doing a quick transfer, get it all down into the base. Alright, I'll sort the rest of it out later. Uh, we're gonna need Cartsy. All right, so we've got our spear, we've got the cart. What else do we need to take? Um, I'm gonna need a backpack. I don't want to take the duffel bag. Um, I'll settle for a backpack, so let's move over to our pile here. Pretty sure we've got a few spares, so I'll grab the leather backpack and wear it. And then, do I have another one I can give my buddy? I don't. I didn't get any that way, but I think I've got, yeah, I've got a leather one here, so I'll go ahead and take it, and we'll get our washboard and soap. Alright, apply washboard to the leather backpack using water and our soap bar. Alright, so it's cleaned up. We'll drop those back on the dirty clothing pile. All right. And talk. Use this item. Leather backpack. All right. So now he can start holding and using more items again. So. I'm not going to worry too much more about him, and I'm actually going to leave him here. I don't need the extra complication of him being along for this next trip, so I'll give him the guard this position. Actually, we're going to tell him to come up here, you. I'm going to move into him, push. And we'll go this way, push. And this way, push. Right there. Alright, that's where I want you to stay. So you, talk, and E. Guard this position. 
All right, so he'll hang out there now. Um, I just want him close enough that if I do some crafting or some reading and such that uh, he'll either help me and or gain the leveling up. So if he watches you do crafting things, he gains skill as well. So that will be useful. All right, back to our pile here. So I need to take with me. I uh, don't need the bottle jack. We'll take the rubber hose, the duffel bag, just in case. Uh, the water skin should be enough. Smoked meat. And the, sure, MRE. We're going to drop the water bottle here. Play will drop. Alright, so I've got my full fighting gear, I've got some food, I've got the bo uh, the water skin, our duffel bag, just in case for some reason we need more capacity, and the toolbox to let me work with things. don't think there's anything else I can think of that's critical. Let's grab some more smoked meat just in case though. Let's grab ten more. I've got to walk this time, so it's going to take longer to get there. Um, and actually, we're going to sleep here before I do. How's your health doing, by the way? Um, he'll quickly be outside of our reality bubble, so there's nothing going to work, nothing going to happen with him when time passes anyway, so we'll just leave him there. I'll worry about his wounds and sleeping and all that stuff later. All right, um, anything else I need to take? I feel like I'm forgetting something. But the idea is we're going to make a direct line back that direction. So we're just going to hoof it straight through the forests and straight down this way. So we may run into zombies and animals because there's going to be areas we haven't been through yet. <clears throat> and we won't be in a vehicle that we can easily just run, drive around things. Um, so if we encounter moose or zombears or so on, we've got to be prepared for it. So I've got my medical gear. How many? I've got uh, first aid kits, plenty of them. Bandages, aspirin, antibiotics. Oh, I need more disinfectant. Good thing I thought about that. Let's get another bottle of disinfectant. Alright, so we've got disinfectant in case that happens. Um, I think... We're good at that point. It would probably be best if I went ahead and slept while we're here. So let's let's get Doofus, and since we're sleeping, we might as well tell him to. So, talk. Come with me. Let's go. All right, sleep. Yes. He slept a lot more recently than us, so he may not try to sleep. Alright, we woke up. Back over here, guy. Not really going to matter, so I guess we'll just leave you right there. Doc. Ooh, we can do a persuasion. Let's see if we can talk him into it. No, he said no. <laughs> All right, guard this position. Okay. Grab the cart, and I think we are ready to roll. Oh, before I do that, eat from the clean water, clean water, and... Um, yeah, we're going to have to do another smoked meat run because we're almost out already. Sure went quick. All right. Do one more.
All right, we've got our night vision. We've got safe mode turned on. I think I'm going to call the episode to a close before we make the trip back, so it took a little longer to get home and get everything done. It always takes longer to do everything than I think, so this would be a good break point before we take off from our base. So next episode, we're going to pretty much make a trek back to get our technical vehicle. So we're going to do a straight line trek on foot, and we're going to be heading through some woods. We might do some scavenging while we're heading through. It's autumn time frame in the season, uh, so... We're not going to have as much luck getting useful materials and food items out of the shrubbery, but uh, we might find other things while we're wandering around. And we'll definitely probably end up in a fight or two, so we'll try to avoid that as much as we can. My main goal is just to get back to Coventry, get our technical vehicle, and get back here. So we have got, got our mission accomplished, and we got some good items and gear out of Coventry, including our luxury RV that we're going to do some things to. So I want to go ahead and get some of that stuff done. So. That's it for this episode. I hope to see you in the next one, and have a good day. Bye-bye.